Good morning. Good to be with you on this uh, wonderful June nineteenth, uh, Super Soul Sunday morning, and happy Father's Day to uh, everyone around the globe, and especially to the fathers in the Congress and and the first father of the United States of America, to President Obama. The reason I'm saying this is especially to uh, Congress and to the presidency because. we all have a duty to protect our children that's what the fathers we do right and um, many of us or most of us we are celebrating today and we are happy and i'm already ready to go out and have a brunch with my family and my children but uh, how many of them today having that uh, dream comes true the reason i'm saying just uh, years ago in a connecticut uh, 20 children were gunned down by the gunman and those children lost their fathers and they never going to come back and celebrate a father's day with their father and their fathers are still grieving for their children and likewise uh, in 2015 in San Bernardino and again the fathers were gunned down the children lost their father fathers are never going to come back and just recently in Orlando 49 people were killed and i'm sure there's uh, many fathers are grieving for their children and i'm sure some of them are fathers there too so why i'm saying all this because i want the congress and the presidents to act immediately to uh, protect uh, this uh, society i know that uh, a gun is not killing only the human kills that's what uh, i also understand and the people going to tell me but we can minimize the casualties if we don't have this uh, military grade assault rifles in the market so before i'm going on the second amendment uh, and the people will think that i am i know second amendment i studied the second amendment i i'm a i am a law graduate and i was taught by the uh, yale school uh, professor a law school professor dr moore who is the uh, second amendment authority in this country he taught me and uh, president obama was a constitutional uh, professor and he know what is the second amendment right so the second amendment is actually a 27 word uh, amendment uh, the article which actually gives this kind of a devastation to the society today but i do respect uh, honestly the second amendment that uh, every american have a right to bear arm but uh, before we going into a uh, debate whether the uh, we have to completely can ban the guns or uh, the second amendment should be repealed no i don't want the second amendment to repealed and i don't want the guns to be banned the reason i'm saying because i am not going to be here today exactly if this happened to me on uh, one sunday morning last year what what happened was uh, nobody was at home and i was alone and i was having my late lunch and all of a sudden my uh, friend door uh, was knocked uh, very uh, heavily and also the bell was uh, going on i said who is come coming and knocking like this nobody going to do that and I, i'm not expecting anybody so i was reluctant to open the door and i was watching bbc and having my late lunch is about 2:30 uh, in the uh, afternoon and i suddenly hear some kind of a blast noise comes from a basement i said what is that and nothing but immediately my uh, alarm goes off uh, security alarm and uh, what i did was uh, i was just thinking something uh, i didn't think this was a wrong at all instead i went and switched off the alarm i went ran to the back i mean i ran outside and opened the garage and what i see was now it was very interesting and it's very i mean that time it was i didn't uh, feel anything but now i'm thinking about it i feel really sorry for myself when i went outside there was a two was 15 to 16 year old uh, african american kids were running from my backyard towards the car was parked uh, to the road they were running i said who is this running from my backyard still i'm not thinking somebody was breaking into my house right so now i turn i see a boy 6 foot tall another 15 year old boy holding a gun in his hand and walking behind me but i don't know what prompted him and uh, he didn't shoot me he just walked past and took his van and they all gone when i called 
then i came back and said now i close the garage and i call the cops and uh, that is another story the cop came actually at 30 minutes later they didn't come immediately because my alarm was switched off so add did not call them uh, that was a problem so when i called the cop came and they treated the entire scenario is as if i uh, dropped the egg in my kitchen they said it's my fault because it's a sunday afternoon people will think that everybody will be in the church and this is a summer sunday so somebody was trying to break in so if someone knocked the door you have to immediately respond to them then what other thing the cop told me when i asked the cop is a young cop i asked him how you protect yourself if a police comes late he said i have a gun in my every room and you better go and apply and get your gun then he also told me go and get the door stopper from a, a, a store and I put it and he stood in my house until i go and get like a 15 of the door stoppers and put it on my every door this is what happened i mean it's now it's a joke i'm laughing but it's not a joke or a laughable they would have shot me right and when this was told when this was heard by my neighbors they all got angry and they told me that uh, i should keep a arm in the house my entire neighborhood has the all kind of a weaponry that i learned uh, a week later one more time my alarm goes off this time it was uh, by my mistake you won't believe it all my friends and my neighbors in my neighborhood they all came with like a totally military protection for me i got really scared looking at this i don't know whether my child has to live in that kind of environment to tomorrow uh, that everybody have to carry a gun and open the door i don't know so but that immediate my knee jerk response i also went with my friend ian to the uh, gun store and i almost going to buy the shotgun or ar15 or a bushmaster and all that but in my home i do have a one which actually holds the university record in uh, target practice but uh, she said that no we are not going to have uh, any type of uh, weapon in the house no weapon so we didn't buy it but however i do go to the uh, range and do practice uh, uh, target practice with my friends so coming back to the history of uh, gun violence and the uh, second amendment so small brief i'm going to give you why we need to uh, ban the assault weapon in the 1939 uh, case us versus miller two men were caught with an unlicensed suede of a double barrel shotgun that they had transported from oklahoma to arkansas they claimed that the federal license requirement violated their second amendment rights but the court decided that a shotgun with a barrel of a less than 18 inches lacks any reasonable relationship to a well regulated militia since the weapon would not be useful to militia it was beyond the protection of the second amendment the high court's opinion in us versus miller was handed down on may 15 1939 the justice did not issue another second amendment decision for 69 years when it is issued the opinion in the heller's case on june 26 2008 this is the route causes for the present day problem why i'm saying because the majority of a justice in the 2008 heller decision said the second amendment protects the right of americans to possess the firearms in common use meaning rifles and handguns commonly used by civilians but however at justice uh, anthony scalia writing in the heller decision suggested that the states and the congress would not violate the second amendment by passing and enforcing restriction on machine guns and specialized military weapons now we see why they don't want to appoint uh, obama as a judge this is a reason they want some conservative judge who has anthony scalia's uh, same kind of a mindset in overturning the district of columbia's ban on handguns in 2008 the high court said handguns including semi-automatic handguns are constitutionally protected because they are common use by law-abiding citizens the question now is whether the majority of a justice will find that 
semi automatic rifles which are also common used by law abiding civilians enjoy the same constitutional protection but in reality prohibiting semi automatic assault weapons does not disarm or substantially affect a citizen's ability to defend him or herself why i'm saying because look at this there is no significant difference between a semi automatic weapon and a fully automatic weapon in terms of a potential firepower and the lethal threat it possesses it takes 2 seconds to empty fully automatic uz with a 30 round magazine the same gun gun fired as a semi automatic takes only 5 seconds in 1994 congress passed a ban on certain automatic assault weapons and large capacity magazine capable of holding more than 10 rounds right so how was jared lofna the admitted gunman in the 2011 shooting spree involving congresswoman gabriel gliffords able to purchase 30 round magazines for his pistol you will be wondering why but the same thing happened in the 2015 and just in the 2016 the reason because the 1994 federal assault weapons ban and restriction on large capacity magazines expired in 2004 and they have not been renewed by the congress till date that's what the problem is today the congress did not want to act at all the use of two thompson submachine guns in chicago's 1929 saint valens day massacre prompted the congress to pass a national firearm act of 1934 but i'm wondering what stops the current congress to pass the ban on assault weapons right these military grade weapons like ar15 used in a connecticut which killed 20 elementary school children same type of a weapons used in a 2015 san bernardino attack and recently in a world orlando massacre same assault rifle killed 49 people do you know the nra estimates about 250 million guns in use a 2012 congressional research report said there were an estimated 310 million civilian firearms in the us in 2009 but the us population in 2009 was 307 million according to the us census bureau so we have a more gun than per capita in this country so how many more have to die before we bring common sense gun control i'm not asking for a complete ban on a guns I just want ban military grade weapons that's all that's all my father's to father talk to the people world around every father's today with that I'm going to say I hope and I dream and I don't want my children to live in the fear world of somebody going to kill them please act immediately with that I'll say everybody have a great day see you all later bye bye